Hey everybody, Mr. McIntosh here. In today's video, we're going to talk about Patch Sir. You didn't think I was going to forget about Patch Sir, did you? Well, we're going to show you today how to get the application fixed up because of the repo problem that's happened. And you might have gotten an error when you try to update Patch Sir that says the file release JSON could not be opened. So I'm going to show you how to update the app, create a new install USB, update Mac OS if you were on a previous version and you couldn't get an update because of the Air. I'm going to show you how to patch the texts, install macOS recovery if you haven't done that before so you can boot right into recovery. Also how to modify the boot plist so you can reset the NVRAM and enable notification settings so you can know when there's a new patch or update or a new macOS update. So we got a lot to cover in this video. Let's jump in and get started. Okay, let's first talk about the issue that's going on right now. If you had patch or installed, open up your application and you wanted to check for macOS updates, for example, and you got this error about the release JSON could not be open so we can fix that right now the first thing we need to do is download the new version 1.0.1 from the new github repo so i'll include a link in the description on where you can go to download that so i'll go there now and once you get to the repo for patch sir you'll see the releases over here and you want to click on the latest version of patch sir right now is 1.0.1 so we'll click on that and we'll scroll down here and then we're going to download the post install app.dmg and once you click on that it's going to go right to your download folder and then as soon as it does click on the downloads folder and then click on post install app.dng it's going to open up and then we'll be able to move it to our applications folder so now all we need to do is click on the icon for patch sir and drag it over to the applications folder like this if you have patch sir already installed which you most likely do you want to overwrite the previous version so it'll get the application will get fixed with the latest version so click on replace to open up applications we can just double click on this window right here and there's applications. We can click on P to bring us right to Patch Sir. Now to open up Patch Sir, all you need to do is double click on it. If you get this message, click on open, and there we are. Now if you have a problem opening up the app, you can always right click or control click on it and open up this way if you get an error when you're trying to open it up. And just click on this and it'll open up the applications just like this. Now that we have Patch Sir open, we can do some maintenance pieces here before we run the updates. Because most likely you tried to run the updates before and you couldn't because of the error in the previous version of patch sir before we do that we will want to make a usb installer that we use to keep just in case there's any problems booting the mac all you need to do is use the installer to set the efi again and then you can be back up running in the operating system that's why it's always good to create that usb and then keep it off to the side in a safe place just in case anything goes wrong most likely you're not going to need it but let's go through how to get that set up right now Okay, now let's go over creating a brand new USB installer just in case we have issues in the future. So I plugged in my previous patch, sir, USB boot disk, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna overwrite that and create one with the latest version of Mac OS Big Sur. So let's go back to the application here and we're gonna click on create installer. And then this is going over what will happen to be able to create the installer. Let's click get started. And now we're gonna keep it on the release schedule. We'll click continue. And then we're going to download 11.6.1 if you don't have it, or you can browse for the full installer if you already have it downloaded. So for example, I use my full installer database to already grab it. For example, here's the full list of all the installers here, and I'll include a link in the description to really get the latest version. So I already downloaded 11.6.1. So if we go back here to the application, we can click on browse and it's right in the downloads for us. So click on downloads and there's the full installer assistant package. We'll click on open. And then now what it's gonna do is it's gonna download the files needed to be able to create that USB installer. Okay, all the files are downloaded. Now what we wanna do is to be able to patch the USB stick and then click continue. Now this is just giving us a warning. Make sure that you have any files that you need off the USB before you do this because it's going to erase the entire USB drive or external hard drive and partition it and create the USB installer. So click continue and erase. We'll type in our administrator password and there it goes. 
Now what we wanna do is creating the USB installer will take a little time. It has to move over 12 gigabytes of Big Sur installation files over to the USB. So the best thing to do is if your USB drive, for example, has an activity light on it, you'll see that it's obviously copying over. But what you can do also is do command space activity monitor, and then you could click on the disk tab here so we can monitor what happens and monitor the speed of the transfer here. So we'll move this down while we watch the patch sir application do its thing here. And you can see that it's already starting to copy the files to disk and it started at 0%. And as the time it'll go 20, 40, 60, 80, and then hundred percent. And you'll see that the data read and write speed will start to kick up here. And before you know it, we'll done and we'll have our full patch sir USB installer. Okay, the USB installer is finished. We can double click it on here and take a look. And here's all the files and the Mac OS Big Sur full installer. So this guy is ready to go. So now the next step what we're gonna do is we're gonna update Mac OS Big Sur because you might be behind a little bit in versions. We need to update to the latest version. So let's get started with that now. We'll click go home here. And then we wanna click run updates. Now what it's going to do is it's going to check and it's going to say, hey, there's an update available right now. It's 11.6.1. So all we need to do is click start the Mac OS update. So if you do get this message that library validation is en enabled and click on continue, type in your administrator password here, and then it'll say successfully disabled library validation. And all we need to do is reboot to apply those changes. We'll reboot now. Okay, we're back up. Now keep in mind, you might have already disabled library validation. If you did, then you would not even have gotten that message, but I wanted to show you what would happen if you did. So we'll click on run updates again, and then we'll click on start the Mac OS update. I'll we'll enter an administrator password here. And there it is. It's going to download the patches first, and then it's going to download the full installer of Mac OS Big Sur 11.6.1, or in the future, whatever the current version is. And then it's going to be able to reboot to the installer. Now, while it's downloading, if we wanted to, we can click on the network tab instead of the disk tab this time to view our network download speed. And we can see here that we're downloading about 15 megs a second and it's always going to depend on how fast your internet speed is connection to apple because it's downloading directly from apple the full update so again once this finishes we'll be right back on the update okay we're just about finished downloading the update here we'll give it a second or two here after the download finishes it's going to start to prepare the update and give you a percentage here until it gets to 100 percent once the preparation done it's going to start to restart we'll be back in a second here as soon as the preparation is finished the mac automatically went down for a reboot and now it's at the apple logo with the progress bar installing the mac os big sur 11.6.1 update and we'll be back in a second the update was successful. Now we have to open up the patch sir application and usually it's already open when you used it to run the updates. The next step is that we have to run the patch text. And one thing you'll notice is the Wi-Fi is not working. So all we need to do is click on patch text. And then you'll see that we'll get a start patch text button here and we'll click on that and we'll enter an administrator password and there it goes. We'll give it a second here. Okay, it's finished. All we need to do is click on the restart button to finish. We'll do that now. Okay, there's a chime. We'll come right back. All right, we're booting back up and let's log in. And look at that. The first thing you'll notice right off the bat is we have Wi-Fi working. Now we're back up and fully working on 11.6.1 using patch sir 1.0.1. .1. Now there's a couple things that we need to do still that I would recommend here. So we want to install recovery mode. So look at this here, install recovery mode, patch the current recovery volume used with command R on boot. And this is what you can use if you're having to troubleshoot or need to reboot into recovery. Also the recovery mode allows you to install the Kex if you're having problems trying to do it from here in the application or there's something wrong all you need to do is boot to recovery and you can run the patch text right from recovery so we'll click on this now to install recovery mode and we'll click on continue i'll enter an administrator password and it's going to download the recovery pieces and then install them okay it says done patching recovery we'll click on go home now we have recovery mode. So again, you can reboot your Mac, hold down option, and then you can do command R or just hold down command R. When you're rebooting, you can get into recovery now with patch sir. There's two more things we need to do. 
The next thing we want to do is patch the boot P list. And you can reach that in the settings. If you already have it, it'll be grayed out. But if you haven't set it already, it'll be in green. So let's take a look at what our settings are right now. We'll click on this button here. For the settings, we're already patched for boot.plist. And that means that we can actually reset the NVRAM if we needed to. Now, keep in mind, that's why I recommend keeping your USB installer handy, like just put it in a drawer or put it away in a safe place, just in case you have any problems and you need to run the EFI button when you hold down option. So that's set. Now, the next thing I wanted to do is enable notification settings. So we'll click on back. To enable notifications, all we need to do is click on Run Updates and then Configure Update Notifications right here. Now, what we need to do is click on Yes and then Yes and then Confirm. It's going to give us a message that says, hey, we need to allow permissions. You'll get this message, so just click on here. It'll open up the settings in Notifications. Notice how Pastor is off. Click Allow Notifications and now it's set. So we'll click on the Quit button here and it says there, you're almost done. To finish setting up notifications, Pastor requires making a user daemon that will check every once in a while. To set this up, the patcher needs to have root access, so you have to be prompted for your password. We'll click on OK. We'll type in our password here. Enter. Click OK. That's all set. Now, the next thing we want to do is we want to make sure that we clean up any files that might be left over from the installation. So all we need to do is go into settings and then we'll scroll down here and clean up patch sir leftovers. We'll click this button now. And there you go, cleaned leftovers. The files that have been deleted, you should see more free space, assuming that there was actually files to be cleaned, and there was. We'll click on OK. I wanted to add some final thoughts on unsupported Mac with Patch Sir. It was one of my first videos that I put together that shows how to install a newer operating system, Mac OS Big Sur, on older Macs. And when I first did it, I couldn't believe that you could do it. And I knew people have been able to do that in the past, but in seeing how well it worked, I was very impressed with all the work that went into creating this patcher. And I remember reaching out to Ben and he was so extremely friendly to help me understand all the ins and outs. And I remember working with him and testing this over and over again and it got it, we got it running very well. And we were able to produce this video and he helped out with all the questions that I had. And I, you can just think of how many people have patched or installed and are, are happy with how well their Mac is running now. And I owe that all to him. And I really appreciate all your help, Ben. Thank you so much for working with me. And it's really been great working with you over the past 11 months since this video initially came out. And I'm really glad that Pastor is back up and running. And as you can see here in this video, it's running really well. And it'll be really great to see everybody get their Pastor all fixed up and working all again. If you guys have any questions, I talked to Ben and he said that he would jump into the comments of this video. I was really happy that he said that he would be able to do that. So if you have any questions on Pastor, he'll be here with me in the comments and we'll answer any questions that you have and let us know. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and a share. I'd really appreciate it. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, click on that subscribe button. And if you're already a viewer or a subscriber, I truly appreciate it and we'll catch you in the next video. Thank you.